It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 2006, recorded Thursday, September 19th, 2024. Hit the corrode, Jack. episode of the Gizwiz Diggity heads to two different toy events. I have another gadget from the TV. This one may be a bit corroded and a very great viewer video. All next on the Gizwiz. It's the same show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs going blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, our expert on stuff, Dick D. Bartolo. <laughs> How you doing, Dicky D? I am doing good, sir. And you? Doing good. Stuff is all around us, so it's good to have an expert on stuff. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. And, and last week, we couldn't think of anything to talk about. This past week, ted Ann, I'm wearing my souvenir shirt. Look at that! Um, Does it, it, the, it doesn't say hope at the, uh, at the bottom. It must have just mad. mad you know. uh, <laughs> this is from <laughs> the Norman Rockwell Museum. And Sam Viviano, who is mad art director for the uh, last 30 years when it was still in New York, he called me up and he said, I'm going back to see it and you're going with me <laughs> because I hesitated going because it's far. about, yeah, it's far. Uh, it's like two hours and 45 minutes each way. By, by personal car. By personal car. Yeah. Uh, and if, by Google, it said uh, public transportation during the week, six hours. <laughs> on the weekend, 11 hours each way. Yeah. Mm. Don't you want to go to the museum for a few minutes, spend 24 hours on the weekend, uh, on, on in the, the weekend, public the transit? Weekend. Yeah. I'm so glad that uh, you got to head up oh, there no, and see I it. Oh, no, I did. So I, tell I us about back, it. What? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I brought back some photos. You can just run through them and I'll narrate them. Here uh, we so, are. Uh, okay, so it's the Norman Rockwell Museum uh, is very large. It, it's in a beautiful country road and they have a lot of property. It's um, up in Stockbridge, Mass. And they have five display rooms. I'm, I'm, taking, I'm taking a look at this uh, Alfred E. Newman. He looks like he's... Uh... He's taken my hobby. Okay, there can only be one yes, runner. Yes, yes. Instead here. of uh, transferring the stick during a, a, a race, someone's handing him a stick of a dynamite. Stick of dynamite. Um, so it, it's very impressive. So inside, they have eleven original Mad comic books. The oh, not wow. reprints, but original. Then they have the first set of Mad as a magazine. And some collector has the actual mock-up of Mad Number no. One, wow. which is also framed and hanging there. Wow. So they have a, they have a ton of stuff. This is one of the five exhibit halls. So they have lots of Mad merchandise, things that I never even knew had been made. All right. That's a spy. Uh, it looks like a golden yeah, yeah, spy yeah. A, a right lot there. Of, a, lot of the, a lot of the spy versus spy stuff. Was it, um, is, it, is this banker versus banker back here? What is this? Uh, you know what? Those are characters from Mad, which they had standing around in the museum, was, was very, uh, very cute. I should have taken higher risk. This is, this is fascinating. Who knew Norman Rockwell was going to do the first official... Alfred E. Newman face portrait. That, that is crazy. Yes. And so he said That's yes on a Friday. Crazy. And on a Monday, he said, I'm scared. <laughs> I think I better back out of this. After talking with you, my wife, who has a lot more sense than I have, I feel making a more realistic, definitive portrait just won't do. I hate to be a quitter. But I'm afraid we would all get in a mess. 
This is crazy. Is that a riot? I love that. I love that. And Rockwell. Also, it really makes me miss the days when we wrote letters to each other, because nowadays that'd just be a text. Sorry, can't. Okay, thanks. Yes. (laughs) Yes. You know? Yeah. And then, and then, and then there'd be a reaction, like a thumbs up emoji reaction yes, yes, to that. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, that is yes. cool. That 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 that, that to me was holy cow. Yeah, yeah. And the and the great thing is that the museum has the original. Uh, they have a ton of uh, original Norman Rockwell stuff there. Um, this is one of Norman uh, uh, on the right is one of Norman Rockwell's most famous paintings. And that's the original one. And then Richard Williams did one for Mad, and that's the original one. And the goof here is that in the original, Norman Mad is looking in a mirror yeah. and doing a portrait of himself. In the Mad version, yeah, yes. In the, in the Mad version, oh. Alfred is looking... Whoop, in the Mad version, Alfred is looking in a mirror, but somehow is painting... <laughs> The miraculously perfectly uh, photorealistically paint, yes painting the back of his own head the exact same angle you get <laughs> yes yes uh, and someone emailed me and said how clever that uh, Richard Williams changed the fireman's helmet yeah. which Norman uh, 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 Norman Markle has over his easel they swapped that out for the mad blimp yeah. In, I'm noticing the all these little changes, like this trash can is a plant. Yes, and, and the, yes, we had the we had the uh, uh, Mad Magazine plant. It, it, it's 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 ingenious. <laughs> this is a dodo just, bird. What type of bird is this? Uh, that's that's the Mad Bird. Oh, he was, he oh was in God. different different Mad articles. This is all the little subtle things that artists did. I didn't realize that. Mad had a bird. It's like a, it's like a state bird that I never. <laughs> yeah. No, you know, we have a weird bird. There's even a mad pin uh, that features that mad bird on it. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Oops. Uh, here, one second. I got to get back to the uh, Okay. There we are. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. And next up is, <laughs> all right. So since the, this this is this is one of the most famous things at Mad mm-hmm. is Mad 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 had these trips all over the world, but this time Bill said I'm taking everybody on a cruise, and I was walking on the deck and and one of the offices, uh, you know, with a lot of braids and scrambled eggs on his shoulders. I said you should eat breakfast more carefully. No, he said we are so thrilled to have the Mad staff. And especially the publisher. And I said, would you like to play a trick on the publisher? A practical joke? And he said, uh, okay. <laughs> what do you need? I said, his favorite thing is a Marx Brothers movie. And his favorite scene is where everybody packs into this tiny little cabin. <laughs> I want to duplicate that in Bill's cabin. And so the guy said, what do you need? I said, I need like three mechanics with toolboxes. I need four maids, vacuum cleaners, and towels, and linens. Um, And then we sit outside his room, and as people walk by, we just said, go on in. Go on in. Get in there. Right. And no one has pictures because it was packed wall to wall. You couldn't. (laughs) So Sam Viviano painted everybody on the staff who was in that room. Oh, my gosh. And I'm down there in the corner because uh, I had organized it over the phone to that officer of stuff that we needed. Uh, the so cleaning that, guy that was over oh, here. Yes, the, yes, yes. The, the, the towel. The there, that, that's Bill Gaines. <laughs> yeah. uh, a lot of the staff. Almost You're in here twice. Staff. You're in there with a vice bucket. Oh, too. yeah, yes, I am. I am in there twice. Oh, my gosh. Is, oh, my gosh. That is so funny. Yeah. See, that's great. Whenever you get to hang out with fun, creative people, they come up with fun, creative ways to keep your Houston. memories. Yes, yes. That's so fun. Okay, yes. so. Uh, Sam Viviana did a great job with that. And there you um, are. This was kind of funny. Uh, uh, they shot a couple of videos here in Disneyland, and they're running on monitors at the exhibit. And and as I walked in, I thought, oh, my God. 
God. There you are. There I am on a monitor. Did you get recognized? Monitors. Oh, my God. The woman, Stephanie, who is the lead curator, walked with us. And every time we entered a new exhibit hall, she would say, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you picked a wonderful day to be here. <laughs> She announced you. Two people from Mad Magazine, the art director and Mad's Maddest writer, are here in person. Oh, uh, it was great. So we that signed is great. Oh, that's so sweet. We, we signed autographs. We took selfies. That it, is it, it so was awesome. It was great. That is so and, great. There you are, Dickie D. And then they have a little outdoor cafe. So we had lunch there. Yeah, is that a photo op with Alfred over there? Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> that that's at the, at the end, so people can go by, and and it's also a great big. Oh, they have uh, Norman Rockwell's studio. I, she said, this is the actual studio. I said, was it here? She said, no. They cut the studio in half and trucked it oh. up to the property, and then reassembled it, but. <laughs> This is the his actual studio. Wow. Which was in in uh Stonebridge, a uh, Stockbridge, I mean. Um, wow. So yeah, that I was I can't imagine was... just shipping a whole studio. Just like, no, it needs to be this one. <laughs> I can't have I it can't have another. It needs to be this one. Yes, exactly. Exactly. I mean, if it's and... if it's if it's Norman Rockwell's studio, it makes sense. You know. Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, uh, this Sunday, Look at this. it's so funny. I, I, I got this about uh, 20 minutes ago from David Pogue saying it's official. This Sunday, they shot part of it here at Disneyland. David Pogue uh, interviewed John and I and Sam here at Disneyland. And then he and the CBS crew went up to Stockbridge. Oh and the piece will run this Sunday. I've not seen the piece. Uh, we'll all see it together. What do you What do you know about it? How do you know how long it is? Do you know? I have no. You know, I have no idea. I think their pieces run six or seven minutes. That, that's so, so uh, exciting. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any idea what exactly what time? Just in the morning on the Sunday morning. Uh, and the, uh, the, yeah, the show starts at nine, and I think they they do a little recap of each story, and I believe the stories run in the order of the recap. So you should be able to sort of figure out where in, in, the, in the segment it is. Well, and David Pogue is such a nice guy. And oh, I'm David. So, oh, wow, Dickie D. That is David cool. Pogue, he, he is a, a really mad fan. He's been up to mad many times. And we always, awesome. we always tell his kids, oh, your dad is such a mad fan. He comes up. And when he leaves, we are missing so much original art. <laughs> He's such a nice guy. We just say, oh, David, keep it. And Every time he comes, you know, I just, my my walls get a little lighter. Of, of <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. Yeah. Wow. And the most astounding thing about David Pogue, two months before that terrible tragedy with the su uh, submergible that went down to the sea, the type, he did that. He was on the was yeah. Ocean Gate was Ocean, or ocean? Uh, ocean, ocean something. Uh, I'm thinking of Gate because I'm thinking of Watergate. I'm thinking of uh, yeah. I'm, I'm adding the gate onto it. Uh, uh, but I, yes, I, the, I, I, I said the I Titanic the submersible. I'm forgetting the name of it. Now. Yeah, that will help me out. Oh yeah, he was God. on it. On it. On it. Eight yeah. hours. Eight hours. He said, "Dick, it's three hours down." Two hours oh down there, and then three hours up. Yeah. Uh, terrifying. Eight feet long. Six people. Uh, I mean, like, that's on the level of terrifying. Of the, have you seen the clip of the guy that's, like, on September 11th, and he's like, I took the day off today. <laughs> oh, my God. you see yeah. that clip? That is yeah. what I feel like when I think of David Pogue on that submersible. When yeah. It's like... That could have been yeah. me. That could have been Low me. Casting. Ocean, you were Ocean right. Gate Titan. I was right. The Ocean Titan. Gate. Yeah. For some you time, were I right. Wasn't. Uh, yeah. This yeah, is uh, uh, one of his articles is shared by Scooter X of what he learned on the submersible. There he is. Yeah. So there were six more people in there. Yeah. Yeah. They did it. Yeah. They did it. There. Yep. 
Yikes, insane. Well, I cannot wait I for the special. That is really, really cool. And I'm yeah, so glad that you got to go up there and, and check out the exhibit because that would have been it's such perfect. a bummer if you didn't. Get oh, the yeah. No, there. no. I, I, I'm so glad I went. And it was, yeah. it was wonderful that, and the audience on the, on, it was on a Monday. And I'm thinking, there's a lot of people on a Monday. Obviously, no kids or, stu or uh, college kids, but older people, um, n no mad, except for one guy said, aren't you the guy from Twit? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> that is great. That is great. That's so funny. <laughs> anyway. Oh, man. Well, that is awesome. Oh, that is really, really yeah. awesome. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, oh, that is great. That yeah. was great. So that was Monday, then Tuesday. There were two different toy events. On the same day? <laughs> yes. I couldn't believe it. I thought they coordinated them. And I said, so did you, the two companies get together? They said, we hate each other. What are you kidding? No, we didn't do this. So in in the morning. <laughs> we was, hate each other. <laughs> yes. No, there are competition. But, no. Th that's that exactly horrible. right. Uh, Time to Play Magazine was in the morning and early afternoon. And then play day was in the afternoon into the evening. So we're going to start with Time to Play magazine. And we have three gadgets from that. Here's one. We're at Time to Play magazine, little kids. Chad, I have no I audio. Big. I'll fix that. But basically, I am a little kid. But Carrie is going to tell us about two gadgets from little kids. One of them brand new. Brand new. And so this is... this is our Fisher Price Shake and Go Bubble Maraca. It is a no spill mechanism, and what we've done is we've designed it to mimic a kid's natural motion, and so it's shake activated. So you just shake it, and that's what makes the bubbles go. So it has the maraca beads inside, and it's just really easy. So any young bubble user can use it, and they don't have to have the dexterity to blow bubbles on oh, their own. Oh, that's great! Can I? Shake yeah, absolutely. <laughs> And what's it run on? So batteries? Yes, batteries. batteries. Okay. Battery operated. Okay. Um, the bottle is kid-proof, so it opens like a pill bottle, so you have to push oh, up the, to, to be able to unscrew it, so kids can't unscrew it on their own. So it's really safe for that youngest bubble user. Okay. So this is age-coded 18 months and up, and that's that's younger than your traditional bubble toy, which is 3+. plus. Okay, and what's the retail? This is $19.99, available on Amazon. Okay. Oh, it's already out. Yes, okay, this one is out. Okay. Yes. And it comes with bubble stuff in it? Yes. Okay. It you does. need batteries? You need batteries. Okay. Not included. Okay, that's that's fine. <laughs> and this guy's been around a while, but show us how to Yeah. Can. Oh, I like this. I, do, <laughs> it I wants want to, to be keep surrounded going. in bubbles. Uh, this guy. Sure. So this is our Bluey dance mode bubble mic. So this is a voice-activated bubble blower. So what you do is you dip it in solution, and then you talk into it, and that's how <laughs> the bubbles blow. Oh, I love it. Now, I'm Karaoke dip. bubbles. Yeah, so yep. dip. Okay. Yeah. And then talk into the top. Talk into the top. Hey, Wait. it's Sticky Bartolo, <laughs> Mads, Mads, Ryder, and the Gizwiz. Wait a minute, hang on. I have to go out and burst oh, yeah. the bubbles. Carrie, what's happening? We might need bubbles. Oh, I think we're out of bubble juice. <laughs> I'll try one more time. Uh, I'm, I, I have to go out in a burst of bubbles. Dickie Bartolo, Mads Madis Rider, and the Gizwiz. Time to play magazine. <laughs> uh, lots of bubbles. I didn't, I didn't, I never even thought of the issue of needing a bubble maker aged 18 and younger. Makes sense. Uh, I, absolutely. And also, uh, I wrote it down here is with where it, it's such a funny thing. I have to just find my, my note here. Oh, here it is. This is in the uh, bluey dance mode bubble microphone. This is not meant to be used as a traditional microphone. <laughs> so when one comes to you, I, I sent one saying, Chad, ah. this might be good for your studio so oh well, i was hoping to use it as a real actual microphone <laughs> um you know when i saw yeah. this i was thinking to myself you know what else is blue those uh those yeti 
you know, was it the Yeti Blue? Isn't it? Oh that yes, blue? yes, Isn't yes, that yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's what I was thinking about. Now I was thinking this is a professional device. Uh, mm. I was really, oh, you know, I was. I've been waiting for that professional mic that also <laughs> outputs bubbles. You know, I know, I know. It's been a long time coming. <sighs> I guess I'll just have to keep waiting then. Dang it! Yeah, <laughs> that's very funny. I like the blue. I like the the little bubble thing. I think that activated with a mic is interesting. Yeah, uh, and, and there were so many toys for toddlers, eighteen months and up. I thought that's kind of interesting. You know, this. You know, her mentioning. You know, it's kid. The kid lock bubble uh, reservoir. Something I didn't think of. That yeah, I guess if you're giving this to an 18 month old, it needs to be. Yeah. It needs to be a little bit bulletproof and uh, not. Yes, exactly. You know, exactly. As safe exactly. as possible. And it looks like they just shipped it because there's only two reviews. Yeah. Someone liked it. Someone hated it. Yeah. Someone hated it. It looks like they got a, a defective one. Um, very interesting. I really actually like that. I know that this isn't a gadget I would ever use. Um, but I like what she was saying is kids, uh, how are you going to activate it if you're 18 months, right? You're not going to yeah. pulling a trigger, pushing a button. It might be a little bit much. I like the shake. I like the... Yeah. And then it outputs bubbles. Um, both very... I would not have thought... I would have enjoyed bubble gadgets, <laughs> these type of bubble gadgets as much as I did. But they had some interesting engineering into them, so I like them. I like them a lot. Absolutely. Uh, okay, gadget number two is this. Okay, we're at Clixo, and you're saying, well, Dick, what is Clixo? Uh, Dick, what is Clixo? I'm going to find out. <laughs> okay, good. I knew someone would say. What are we looking at? So this is Clixo. It's a flexible magnetic toy. Okay. And basically with just a couple pieces, you click together. The negative and positive click together. That looks fun. And you can start creating a couple shapes. And once you do create a shape, it kind of holds itself, but also can click around and create whatever you want. And basically whatever you can dream up, we can create. These are some of our newer packs. So you have this oh tropical birds oh pack. You can add feathers, create whatever so you they, want. Do you have plans for this in the box? Yes, yep. Yeah, so okay. right here we have oh, some oh. instructions. Kind of okay. shows you how to build whatever you want to build there. And this pack specifically uh, actually gives you a, a flapper. So you can create little wings that actually flap. Whatever wow. creation you create. Boy, that is and he's doing that with his finger inside of there. Yes, that, lots yeah. of colors. What would the retail price of like that be? This one, uh, they range from around, all the way from 18 up to over 100. Okay. This one's uh, right around like 30, I think, 35, okay. something now, like that. Does each kit build one thing? No, no. Each kit is meant to build a bunch of different stuff. So you basically, we give you the instructions to be able to build any of these kind of things. Okay. Um, you can see in the instructions, any of these birds can be built with this set. Okay. And it comes with uh, instructions on both sides. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, that's the Mars pack. That's one of our oh, good ones okay. too. So it has wheels. Because it's magnetic, you can switch oh it off. Gosh, it's you great. can create basically whatever you can think of. We have these bigger wheels, same thing, flip either way. Now, why don't they do that with cars? Yeah, it's, it's a you great idea. Go, oh, yeah. Get a flat get tire, yeah, pop get, it off. Get no that problem. magnetic tire out of the back. <laughs> okay, let's go. We're on our way. And then same with wearables. This is one of our newer packs. You can create spinners, bracelets, earrings, crowns, whatever you can kind of dream up. You can you can add some Clixo to it and wear it. That's great. What's yeah. your website? Uh, Clixo.com. Clixo.com. A lot of really neat, fun, colorful stuff. That is interesting. I feel like this is almost like a, a gadget category of... Like, they've engineered a fun toy that works with its own fun pieces. Like, I see, I feel like I've felt this type of gadget exist yeah, I mean, before. Yeah, uh, I mean, they have a ton of them. Yeah, wow. I, I, I had not seen this before, uh, but I think he said they've been around for almost three years, but they now have a huge amount of kits. Yeah, that is an insane amount of kits. Um, yeah. They're all they're all like right at that price point of like uh, of like a bit expensive, but it's a yes. educational toy, so it kind of makes sense. Yeah, and colorful. It's very clever. Yeah, I like I like how colorful it is. I like that it's squishy and tactile. The reviews seem really good. Yeah, and you can 
you can the kids can just make up something totally yeah. on their own. That that right. part's fun too. Right. Once you make the bag the first time, it's not as fun. So uh, you'll just make whatever. Yeah. Interesting. So this is like a fifty dollar kit. How many pieces? 42 pieces. 42 pieces in this kit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got great reviews. 4.7 yeah. stars. Man. Yeah. Is that material, I assume it's like a silicone-y type uh, material? It is a paper? proprietary, recyclable, synthetic paper polymer. And it meets all these AST. They need to call it Clixo technology and call yeah, it a day. Okay. <laughs> exactly. 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 Um, designed for four-year-olds and up. That's. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I, I. I. I don't want to say every gadget is cool. I sometimes I feel like I I repeat myself. I'm I'm I think I'm leaning towards better than part of me is a little bit cynical i feel like i've seen a this type of gadget before but if you but if i can't really find anything to hate on them about so seems good seems great yeah. cool well don't forget i'm going through finding stuff that i think is different it is it, honestly it's different enough it, it the the paper the squishiness i haven't really seen that in a uh in these like magnetic sort of yeah. poppable. I mean, gosh, I've, this category, I, I mean, really has been around forever. It was it connects. Do you remember connects? Oh, connects. Oh my yes. gosh, connects. Are they yeah. even still around? Are they even still sell connects. Um, anyway, mm -hmm. cool. I, this is a, that's a uh, a new discovery of a toy that's been around for a long uh, for us. New discovery for us. <laughs> for a toy that's <laughs> been around yeah. for a while. That is that is cool. I I, I uh, find it very intriguing. Cool. All right, well, let's sketch a take on this last one for today. Okay. Chad, there's something here that oh. uh, Dennis said you wouldn't know about. It. Nope. I said, I think he will. I, I think I see some. Is that Minecraft? Okay. So, Chad, I don't oh. know exactly it what it is, but we have Charlotte who is going to tell us about Minecraft. What is it? Minecraft inventory chest? Yes. So what is that? Yeah, so Minecraft inventory chests are one of our new products. They'll be launching in the fall of 2024. Um, they are kind of a way to bring your Minecraft inventory from the game into real life. So um, players of the game know that in Minecraft you collect items and you get to keep them in your inventory. There are a bunch of different biomes throughout the game where you can collect you, different you items. You keep them visual, uh, I mean not physically. There, it's all virtual all in the virtual. game. Okay. Yeah, so okay. it's on a different screen. You can open up your inventory. That's kind of like a backpack where you okay. keep all of your okay. items. Okay. This product is a way to bring those digital virtual products into real life. So we've got 16 different items to collect, and they are all modeled after actual items from the game that you can find and collect in the game as well. Now you can find and collect them in real life and display them and show them off to your friends at home. One thing that's really cool about this product is there's a couple different ways to display all of the items. So they all come in this chest, which looks exactly like the chests in the Minecraft oh, game. Oh, okay, okay. Each chest comes with four of these inventory slots, and there are items in each slot. Um, so you can display them inside the chest just like this, or you can take them out of the chest and display them by themselves like this. Okay. Or the items will pop out of these little... Um, inventory slots you can display them by themselves or if you want to all of these chests kind of slot or the item slots excuse me all slot together and you can form them kind of like a wall like this and display them however you want to right now so, you, are, so you have to buy four chests to have the whole set to have the whole set, set. yes there are okay. four right now but we're okay. coming up with more so eventually there will be more to collect okay. currently there are 16 um, and another really cool thing about this product is on the packaging, there's a little QR code that you can scan, which leads you to a virtual collector's guide, which helps you keep track of which items you've collected oh, 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 and I which see. ones you still need to get. Oh, I see. So and and e each chest costs how much? $14.99. $14.99. Yes. And you said in the fall? Yes. We're hoping for around the end of October is what we're thinking right still now. So day. available soon. Okay. Uh, I bet you didn't know about that. I didn't. I didn't. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Each one of the items inside of that is modeled so particularly 
off of what that item would look like if it was in your inventory. So it's kind of funny, some of those items would look different if they were like held in your hand or out in the world. But those are like the inventory sort of oh, icons, oh, I see. which oh, is kind of cool yeah. because it makes them yeah. look, it makes it look like it's in the item and in that square type thing. Like the axolotl in a bucket, for example, is like the axolotl looks different when it's like in the game, but in your inventory, it's that is the exact little thing in your inventory is the axolotl in a bucket. It's kind of fun. I like it. Yeah. Well, you know what's funny? She said not till uh, the fall. And I thought, just the last, I'm going to type Minecraft treasure chest in Amazon. And it turns out, <laughs> this There's is like, oh my God, well, they all do different things. I didn't find anything that has the actual. The problem uh, is, is a bit too generic of a term because in Minecraft, the chest is like the only way to store items. Like you have your own player and then it's the treasure chest. So it's such a generic big part oh, of the game oh, oh. that oh, okay. that honestly it's kind of bad on them to name their thing the treasure chest. They should have named it like the inventory slot bundle or something just oh, for okay. just for search engine results because like this right here is what the treasure chest it's what the chest looks like in the game, right? And so oh, okay. you're going to find a lot of, of official and unofficial people being like, Minecraft chest? Oh, yeah, here's one. <laughs> here's an, there's another chest. Um, either it could just be a, you know, just a gen general display thing, or maybe it could be a treasure chest with items inside. Anyway, it's kind of hard to... Uh, they, I think they should have named it something different if they yeah. wanted to help. Us if search. you search Minecraft inventory chest, nothing. Come, I think maybe a press release comes up from the company. True. But anyway, true, true, true. Um, yeah, those so, are those are fun. Those those look like fun Minecraft stuff. is a lot of collectibles, and they've done a lot of collectibles that are like the little mini figures. Uh, this is a new type of collectible uh, that I've seen, but uh, interesting take on the. You know, so how old is Minecraft? 10 years. More than 10 years. We just had a few days ago the 10 year anniversary of Microsoft buying Minecraft for $2.6 billion. Um, so that was 10 years ago. So it was before that, which I think it was five years before that, so around 15. Oh I my think. God. Something like oh that. It's been around for a while. Um, and do you see any fall off in interest? Yes, yes. Oh, and, you do. Uh, and it's been long enough, I've seen it come back up too. There's been seasons of, of interest in Minecraft. The Minecraft movie uh, just got announced. The teaser trailer for that came out. And so I think oh, that's going to be another interest spike. You know, it, there's, it's kind of like Pokemon. It's like Pokemon has its days where it's really popular and then it has its days where it's just in the background and no one's really paying and the fans are paying attention to pokemon but that's really it um so it has its ups and downs okay right yeah right. Uh, and i'll just tell that story really quickly years ago when i was at a toy fair um i saw minecraft had a had a trailer there and i said to the guy i know nothing about minecraft but my co-host chad johnson is he said what do you know chad johnson I said, yeah. He said, can I take a selfie? <laughs> so we took a selfie and he said, when my daughter sees this picture and I say, that guy knows Chad Johnson, she's going to be so, so impressed. <laughs> that is so nice. <laughs> yeah. So, so I was trading on your fame, pal. <laughs> I trade on your fame all the time. All oh, okay. of the time. I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, I, I host this, this podcast, um, but the best the part of the podcast is the co-host, Dick Bartolo. Oh, He's been written for my magazine. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, okay, well, that is a fun a little Minecraft gadget to, to wrap that yeah, up. We'll do have more toys next week from the other event. Perfect, perfect. Oh, yeah, that was just the time to play, so you still have... That was time to play. And you yeah. still have another 
to go. Well, with that, let's head into a much crappier situation. You know you don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie, Chad's Crappy Corner. We take a crappy gadget from a not so crappy theme and uh, test it out. I recorded this earlier, so let's take a look. Hey diggity, so we are back at it again with another as seen on TV gadget. And this is another one that looks like it was in the store for a while. It's kind of fun with this category and because we went to that as seen on TV store, I feel like this is a bit of Dick's Gadget Warehouse uh, at the same time. <laughs> From the packaging, you can probably tell what this already is. It is a digital photo album from way back in the day. It's the Wallet Picks. Its big uh, claim to fame is that it can display 58 photos Ooh. in the size of a credit card. Here's the whole gadget right here. I guess so. It's a very thick credit card. It has enough space for that like original USB micro port. That looks absolutely ancient. <laughs> um, and then other than that, it's just a way to display photos. Now it mentions on the packaging that you don't need any software, which is kind of the only reason why I decided to pick this up because if it requires software, I would be like, you're too ancient. Also, you can see that it costs me 10 bucks. I'm gonna get into the packaging <laughs> and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so opening up the wallet picks, kind of just getting into some of the documentation here. Looks pretty good, but I will say, I'm not exactly sure how the batteries work, but it came with three extras, and each one of them is in an insane state of corrosion. I'm super oh glad gosh. that they put them in these oh bags here. Uh, I'm having less and less confidence that this gadget will even work oh at all. No. And as you can see, all those, I, I guessed because of this that it would have a rechargeable battery inside of here and not a corroded bunch of little button batteries. I guessed wrong. Uh, I guess that the button batteries kept it powered and then the data port was just for the data. Um, so yeah, kind of a big bummer there. Uh, here's the cable. And so now, now because I'm pretty sure that this gadget just won't work, let's just kind of, I just kind of want to look at the instructions, see if I can find any like fun little tidbits about it and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so here it is, just a closer look at it, pulling the protective stuff off. This would be the size of the screen that you get. The, uh, the front of this is, you know, uh, it's that like thin paper, plasticky stuff like that I can bend easily each of these buttons. I mean, this feels like absolutely horrible and crummy. It does have this really adorable feature of a kickstand. So you can <laughs> leave it up, which I think is just absolutely funny. Also, the box kind of lies. It says no software needed. What that means is no software needed to be installed on your computer when you first run it. Because uh, as you can see, the step three, the software will start automatically causing the wallet picks image viewer to appear. Um, so yes, there is actually software required in order to get uh, it all to work. Uh, I found it online, uh, the As Seen on TV Us store. Uh, it is 20 bucks. There's a few features on here that I like pointing out. Uh, compatible with Microsoft 2000, XP, Vista, and 7. No 10 or beyond. Uh, the other funny thing is down here. It's, as you can see, 20 bucks, but limited time offer. A single is 20 bucks, but if you order right now, there's a buy one, get one free offer. Right now, folks, I don't think this is going to hang around for very often. It seems like these are flying off the shelf. I can't believe that is such an insane deal. Um, sad to say that this gadget is an absolute dud uh, right out of the box. Um, but I think we can all agree that uh, it probably... I mean, it really was just a gadget warehouse at this point, just to see how bad uh, it could be. <laughs> that is the digital photo album 
wallet picks uh, from the As Seen on TV store. Back to you guys. I also just, you know, there was a time and a place when I guess it was just so sad. I mean, you just needed to look at photos of your children's and pets, and all you had was this tiny little wallet option. You just go through your memories. Wow. I like modern day, where I can look at a, a high-resolution image. Yes. Uh, I, I just look at photos and stuff. Oh, my gosh. It's so much easier. Um, so uh, it cost me $10 for that little walk back through. Someone said that it's 20 years old, that product. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> that seems young. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, the batteries, at least, are twenty years. Yeah, ago. that would make sense. Yeah. Two thousand four. Um, oh yeah, two thousand. Yeah. yeah, this seems like a two thousand four era. A few years before the iPod Nano, basically, <laughs> you know, is, yes, is this? It, it does. It gives off the. Uh, remember the iPod Video? It gives off the iPod Video yes, vibes yes. Um, of it. So yeah, really sad that. The battery has been so corroded recently. I need to make sure my next gadget doesn't have batteries <laughs> in it. <laughs> With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. On. Our email is from Norris Hall. It has a funny email, but I have an idea he might use some of these puns in the video. So let's watch the video first. Okie dokie. Oh. Hey, Diggy uh. Dan Chad. Well, it's time for me to do a little ironing. <laughs> All right. Get out the old ironing board. This is a nice house, by the way. Yes. A, I want to hang out here. Ah! Ah! I have to turn this down. Ah! Okay. To get that iron. <laughs> I think this was a. This, this is like a whole production. Uh, thing. It's great. Over. Uh, this is. A, Fifteen of these shirts. <laughs> back starts to hurt. You know what? I'm happy with this thing. I like it. I like this. Is like the the black and white part of the as seen on TV commercial. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes, <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> I love this. Say hello Ooh. to my little friend. Oh, it is little. As an apartment owner myself, I am yeah. intrigued by this. This is pretty. This is pretty well built. It looks. Yeah, I mean, wow. it, it looks sturdy. It looks like if it, you got pinched by it, it would hurt. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The other. Uh, much better. Yeah, I'm seriously much, much better. Much better. Now. I'm no longer bending over. It's nice and small. It's a full-size board in a very small space. Brings it up to the level where I don't have to bend over anymore. And I absolutely love it. And when you're done ironing, it's easy to put away. You simply fold it right back up again. Oh, Becky has this also, she said. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The other thing is, like, your counter is going to be so much more stable than whatever metal yes. legs. Yes, absolutely. Now, you ready to hang it back up in the laundry room? I like that. And here it is on Amazon. It says $39.99. I don't remember paying that much for it, but... <laughs> It's been well worth it. Made by Soyisin. This little thing has changed the way 
I look at Laundry Day. It's made a terrible drudgery into a less terrible drudgery. Well, that is a really cool gadget. Also, boy, what a be beautiful house. I, I was gonna say, <laughs> I can't stop looking at your house. Your house is really cool looking. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I love that gadget. Um, every, every feature that we already mentioned, uh, I feel like it doesn't need to be said again. Uh, what? Yeah, but, okay, this, it looks like it's 70 bucks, but once you sign in, it drops it down to 40 if you're on Amazon Prime. Oh, oh, okay. okay. And there are other options around, although they're not the foldable ones. I have seen a few also that are not foldable, but they're still like the counters, like this type of thing, where it's a counter yeah. sized. Right. Um, in this type of thing. Oh, wait, this looks foldable too. This one's 40. This one, Oh, this looks like it too. Yeah, this looks very similar. I love this oh, gadget. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. yeah. I'll just read a couple things. Dick and Chad, I have a gadget you may be bored with. <laughs> But I find it irons out a lot of issues I previously had with this tedious task. There are no LED lights, no USB-C ports, doesn't have a battery. But after a year of using this, I feel pressed to make a video about it. <laughs> Thank you, Norris Hall. Norris, that was very funny. That was that great. Was... Well, that was that was uh, flat out the best video we have. We weren't steaming mad at all. No, not I... a wrinkle, <laughs> not a wrinkle in the entire production. No, that was yes. Uh, Nothing you... to get steamed over. <laughs> exactly. With that, actually, with that, how can people send in their own videos? Uh, okay, we are always looking for more videos. Strangely, I think th three people sent in videos this week. Uh, videos, anything to do with a gadget. It doesn't have to be elaborate like uh, Norris's video. Uh, just we see the gadget and hear your voice. Be in it if you want. Uh, horizontal format, uh, one to three minutes. Put it up on YouTube. There's a drop-down menu. Click unlisted. And that way, only people with the URL will be able to see it. And email us that URL, mail at gizwiz.tv. And any time we show you a video, we're showing 99% of them. You'll get the current issue of Mad Magazine autographed to you if you live in the U.S. or Canada. If not, I will autograph a 40-year-old Alfred E. Newman photo to you and send you a high-res image to print out wherever you are in the world. Uh, so do it, one to three minutes. Do it now. With that, let's move on to the letter. Well, our letter also turns out to be a video. Uh, it looks like it got clipped at the end, but the letter is from, let me just find the, the sheet here. And um, that's so funny. Steve. I misplaced it. Yeah. It's Steve. I'll actually play it and then, oh, Steve sent it in. Yes. Okay. Yes. And here is his Phoenix. Video. And Chad was all excited about that uh, scene on TV. I was. Store, but... Um, He's not the only one who can buy crappy products because we have those here in Phoenix also. <laughs> this Here's looks like a good in, one. Uh, open Air Marketplace in East Mesa. And this you might wonder how we can have an open air marketplace when it's 110 degrees, but that's why there's not many people here today. <laughs> you can have them. <laughs> but as you can see, we can buy crappy products in Arizona too. So enjoy the show. See you later. Bye. That is great. I love that. Yeah, Steve, Steve C. Uh, in Phoenix. And you know what? Uh, Dennis said, Dick, you have some short memory. We went to the As Seen on TV store <laughs> like 10 years ago. It's, it's, yeah. it's no longer there. But, yeah. Um, yeah. And I then think I think was... Josh even reminded me. He was like, you know, I saw an As Seen on TV store like in this other place. I was like, not that. <laughs> Well, it's still it's funny. I, I wish are. it was still. Yeah, I wish it was still open because same, same. I, any store with a theme and the S on scene on TV theme is so good. Um, yeah, no, I, I am absolutely. curious. This may be a good 
something, someone to write in the letter. I assume that the as seen on TV moniker, the 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 branding and everything, is kind of unofficial. I assume, you know. Uh, you know, my guess is that. No matter what you make, if it's like under twenty dollars or something, just put the sticker on. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you'd get sued. It's not a trademark. No one owns it. No one. No one's sitting yeah. there saying, "I own the as seen on TV" phrase. So yeah, yeah. Um, that's but that's I, awesome. I, I, that that market, that open air market, reminds me so much of. Uh, uh, you some of the you flea and markets. Josh, yeah, did some of the flea markets. A video, so. right? Oh yes. my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then also like some of the the Texas State Fair type stuff too. Um, those are always so fun. I love those. Going in and just seeing what <laughs> booths but people I, have set I, up. I think you will learn if it's battery operated. Probably don't buy it. Yeah, and oh, and by the way, uh, I think it was Marsworm that asked, uh, "Did I pop in new batteries and try?" I didn't have the the right size, but the corrosion. I popped those ones out. The corrosion under those batteries was way worse than it looked like on uh, from the back of them. So I still, even if I had uh, the correct batteries, I don't think that would have worked. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I have the next, I will say now, I know what the next as seen on TV gadget is. It does not include batteries, so we should be good for next week, uh, for next week's as seen on TV gadget. Perfect. So battery Perfect. free. Uh, thank you so much for the letter, Steve. That is awesome. Also, I want to say thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support of our show. If you like the show, please consider giving back over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Or on PayPal, you can give like a one-time donation on PayPal as well. Uh, both of the links to those pages are on our website, gizwiz.tv. Click on the Patreon tab at the top of the website and you'll find links to both Patreon and PayPal. Gizwiz.tv is where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. Whenever we're live, the website will update with the live stream. Uh, like I said, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. Uh, it'll just be there. And then join the chat room. Chat along with everybody. They're fantastic people. Get to know them. Hang out. Chat along with the episode as it records live. It's fantastic. If you don't catch it live, all of our episodes are there. After the fact, gizwiz.tv is the place to go. Gizwiz.biz is Dickie D's website where he writes articles about all of the gadgets that we cover on the show. So if you ever need a link back or a reminder of the gadgets that we talked about, gizwiz.biz is the place. While you're there, play What the Heck Is It? I like to say it like that. What the heck is it? Uh, it's the game show online where you got to guess the gadget. Um, and uh, this is uh, obvious to me uh, what this is. Um, sometimes when you're drinking your Diet Coke, you just need a phone holder. So you can just stick that on the Diet Coke and then the phone and then you can oh, okay. oh, drink wow. and yeah. sip while you're watching your soap operas. Yeah, uh, if you think you a, need, if you think you got to guess. the not seen on TV store? Yes. Oh, yeah. This is the yes, not seen on TV store. Yeah. Exclusively not sold on television, actually. <laughs> Catalog only. Uh, if you think you know what this gadget is, get a guessin'. Six Mad Magazines for correct answers. Twelve Mad Magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers. So get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. That wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs>